Esau wants to be the leader, but these Edomites can't lead. All these heathens, all these tares, they have an issue with being beneath Jacob, Yeshuan, all right? They feel that they're better, that they should be the leaders, they should be, you know, the example. However, they can't be the example, and we've seen that. I mean, look at how many thousands of years we've been in this earth battling with these wicked relatives of ours, and they haven't shown not one ounce of righteousness, okay? All they're good at is ruining themselves and others, uh, ruining the fun, um, bringing you into bondage, while destroying their own selves. Um, that's all they could do. They're, they're good at doing evil. They can't do any good. When they're, you know, in a position to do good, they do evil, you know. When they're at the bottom, you know, they find a way to put themselves on top. So, you know, the fun is over, Esau. You, you can't rule the planet. You don't know how to do shit right. All you Edomites, all you tares, you guys, you know... You guys ain't, ain't nothing. Anything you do that you admire, that you know you fancy, all your talents and abilities, they only serve to fuel the wickedness that comes out of you, all right? So, yeah, I mean, that's why whichever one of you makes it into the kingdom, uh, you're not going to be beneath us because, you know, it, it's, you guys can't, can't run things, you know? You think you use our running things, but, but you're not. Use our morals. You don't recognize that. Maybe you just do, and it, it bothers you that even though you feel like you have these great talents and abilities and so much, and yet when it comes to righteousness and morality, you guys just don't have it in you. You just can't. And, and you know, it makes no sense for somebody like that to try to be on top, to try to feel superior, that you shouldn't feel inferior because of that. I mean, what would you put yourself in a position that you you feel like you need to leave, but then when you're there, uh, you expose yourself, you know, and you cause all kinds of problems for yourself and others. So fall in line, get, get in where you fit in, all right? Um, I mean, everyone that's, you know, on top now will not always remain on top as far as... Uh, the angelic order goes, all right, when it comes to man, angels, and that type of stuff. So, yeah, um, there are certain beings that feel that they could, you know, exercise better dominion, not necessarily so when it comes to morality and righteousness. Uh, there are others that probably could, you know, do a little more when it comes to um, building things, making things, you know, art, fashion, music, that type of stuff. But... The main thing is none of those things matter if there isn't any stability, if if there aren't any morals in place, if you, if you can't, you know, keep yourself from doing evil with those things, then none of that matters. All that is secondary, okay? Um, you can't upset the balance with, you know, wicked arts and stupid behaviors and stuff like that. Um, Yeah. So, yeah, these Edomites, they, they can't, you know, they can't, they can't run things. They can't stay on top for long. They stay on top too long, they begin to crumble. And that's why the only ones that need to be on top are the Most High, Yahuwah, okay, and the Son, Yahuwah, Shah. So, yeah. Um, all this fighting and bickering over who needs to be who and what position and this and that, well, they decide that, okay. And trust me, these Edomites are better off being under us than being deleted, okay? I mean, look at how they have us now. You know, uh, we were handed over to them, and they went overboard with it, you know? Sure, we got ourselves in this condition, you know, by, you know, letting ourselves go astray and stuff like that. Our past sins uh, in heaven, may maybe, but definitely on earth. Um... Yeah, we have nobody to blame. I don't blame nobody but myself, you know, for my failures and my, my you know, condition. But these Edomites, though, and these other nations, these other fallen angels and stuff like that, um, 
even if they were forgiven and stuff like that, they, they'll, they'll be under us, okay? They'll be under us. They, they wouldn't get up under us. We'd be ruling over them, watching over them, not, not the other way around. Uh, they just have like a big brother type of uh, complex. They feel since they're the, you know, how it is with your big brother, you're the older, they feel like they know better. They really don't. It's just that, you know, they're built like that. They they think, you know, they look at you as a little dude when you really think, you, you might look like the little dude, but you think like the big dude. You see what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with them, but, uh, We've seen it, you know, throughout existence, good versus evil. Uh, evil disrupts the balance. You want to keep evil to a minimum or delete it altogether. Um, so yeah. And it doesn't look good when uh, good people are misbehaving either. You know, that's, that's, that's horrible, you know. You're supposed to be the example. You shouldn't be out here behaving like people that got behavioral problems, you know. All these dark siders. So anyways... Hey, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that real quick because it's true, right? I mean, look around you. I mean, the the illusion that evil is fun and better is it's it's bull crap, okay? Uh, everything good and pleasurable that you think evil has uh, came from the light, all right? Only they like to make you think that you know. Their side is the quality side, that it's better, it's bullcrap, you know, they lie. It's all about lies, deception, evil, and all that to make you think a certain way, to make you believe things are a certain way when they're not. But, uh, yeah, most people have fallen for the lies. Um, yeah, our enemies cannot run shit. They can only build things. They're good with arts, stuff like that, sports, but other than that, I mean, they will end up destroying themselves, you know. They will just end up, um, yeah, just uh, ruining things, you know. Ruining, they, they ruin things. They, there are no morals when it comes to them. Anything goes. And, yeah, they feel that they should be the ones to, you know rule and this and that but in reality i mean come on trannies can't rule i mean what are they thinking trannies can never rule first and foremost all right and the most high rules for a reason all right so yeah and you know all this stuff we're going through now we're only gonna come out better those that make it out of this all right so Yep. We served our enemies, now our enemies got to serve us. I mean, that's the least they could do if they hope to live, okay? If they don't want to get to leave, they're going to have to serve us. And probably forever, so... I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with that. It's not that we're going to be oppressing them like they, you know, they're doing to us. But they definitely, they... It's, it's going to, you know, they got some serious judgments coming, though. They got some serious judgments coming, and, you know, they lost the top position so yeah I mean it's, it's gonna be a humbling experience and existence for them from here on out um what's gonna happen with them well scripture says that some of them are gonna get thrown with the rest of the trash I mean I'm not gonna say that the scriptures are a lie but if the scriptures are correct, and that's what's going to happen, all right? So, yeah, just a video on these heathens and fallen Anglos. I'm telling you, they don't know how to run shit, all right? And we've seen it over and over again. And the fact that they have us in captivity and in this condition is it, it's pathetic. It makes no sense. But it goes to show you that they're good at bringing you down with them okay and it shows you that when they get on top all they could do is give you the illusion that they know how to run things when they can't anything they could do we could do okay just as good if not better so yeah don't don't drink the kool-aid uh they're drunk with their own bullshit all right anyways 
With that being said, I hope you found this video enlightening. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Shalom.